know work from home scenario right where uh, in our companies right we can uh, maintain our one downtime tracker right how we are going to prepare that in this uh, tutorial i'm going to demonstrate you that right so i'm just you know adding the uh, particular fields in the ms excel one by one okay uh, so serial number name department issue type and then what particular you know, fields we can cover it up in this particular tracker so this will help us to you know at least understand uh, how many production hours you know uh, that particular fd or maybe agent have not spent on that particular uh, day right so this is the uh, basic basic fields which i have added and then i'm adding the name correct name and then uh, department issue type start type end type and then i'll add one more column which is called uh, comments right so if in case anything uh, we can uh, add you know or delete in this template we can do that in the video now coming on to the this thing i just added i'm just adjusting this thing uh just add one comment section as well okay now what i will do i will just adjust this once again I'll just select this entire thing okay we can do the control t to convert this into the table or otherwise you know we can select this particular entire range and then insert into the then then table option okay uh, control t which is called table okay i have the headers uh, for this particular uh, excel sheet so i'll select this header okay oops uh, header and then okay it will select like this uh, it will look like this i'll change my theme as well you know if you need it i just change this uh now i'll you know parallel add the details you know you know simultaneously you can add for your employees as well right uh, how you want to showcase that uh, however i'm just adding the example uh, criteria like this okay one serial number and then two three you know multiple employees we can add it but you know just you know in the meantime for my demo purpose i'm just adding this one two three four five six some names i will get added over here okay and then uh department type shit operations you know issue types we can have the multiple issue types you know completely your call how you want to add it start time i will just put the random start time okay and then uh, end time i'll just copy this and paste it over here and let's you know make the changes in it end time basically the uh, issue when you it occur right and when it's uh end okay so that particular duration okay now in the formula section itself we need to see the duration right uh, overall uh, variation basically right how many hours uh, so we'll do end time minus the start time right so we will get the overall hours in the column h okay so let me click on this so it automatically the formula driven okay so overall this many hours uh, for this particular fd was uh, not really working okay and it's in a loss for us uh so we'll add some work from home scenario and then we'll see uh you know wi-fi issues are there correct this is in a downtime tracker which i can say uh it help us to know at least track uh what exactly went wrong and uh, this is not only just an you know, employee tracking purpose however you know we can use this as an you know, uh to showcase to the our internal leadership or maybe you know your uh, stakeholders as well that you know so and so fd were there right and uh, parallel i'm just adding the uh, fd list as well okay one by one at the bottom in this list you know this data particularly you know you can uh, visualize this in the form of dashboard okay and uh, showcase this in your uh, you know daily meetups or call or maybe showcase with your team leaders okay we can add the team leaders name as well in this particular worksheet too right and the template completely you know customizable form or if you want this particular sheet or worksheet or template i can say right uh,